What is up, team? Give me one second. Give me one second while I move this around. Okay, so first thing that I want to talk about, um, if you're not watching this on the live and you're watching this on a recap, appreciate you guys for watching the recap and make sure you just check out all the videos on the channel, very key levels. Okay, so the first thing is spy. Okay, on the S&P 500, I still think we have some more drop to go. Okay. We did have a drop this morning, or actually this, this morning right here. We had a little push up, right? It kind of looks like um, yesterday. It's kind of doing the same type of levels. If you notice, came up and then it dropped probably like around the turn started happening like around 1050 or 11. And then you notice it's around that same time today too, around like 1030 ish. That turn is starting to happen just how it happened yesterday on the S&P 500. Now, we, we do already have puts on the S&P 500. I think it's going to have a nice drop coming soon. Like I showed you guys, it has that delayed reaction um, from the bonds. So actually, let me pull that up real quick so you guys can see it for yourself. Uh, let's see. Okay, so right here, look at this screen real quick. This is the futures, okay, for the bonds. Notice this drop, this drop, and this drop is fairly bigger than both of these drops, right? Notice this drop, June 11th to June 16th. June 11th to June 16th. June 11th is right here. June 16th is right here. Delayed reaction. The move came after. Right. You see that delay reaction. The move came after next. Right here, July 9th, July 13th, July 9th, July 13th. July 9th is right here. July 13th is right here. Delayed reaction. Okay. Delayed reaction. Now, next. August 4th. August 12th. August 4th. Fourth, fourth August 4th. August 12th. We're starting to get that move now. Okay. This is something you guys need to watch. Very, very crucial in the market. And this is what you should be paying attention to. OK, because this is the overall market. OK, this is the S&P 500, 500 companies. OK, so that's something you want to pay attention to first. So I do expect some more drop in S&P 500. I do have puts on it already and I might even get some more puts on it. OK, I plan on profiting um, a lot off that delay reaction move. And with everything going on with the war and the uncertainty going on right now, even the um, Delta uh, COVID cases going up. I just think this is just overwhelmingly going to drop. So I'm kind of waiting for that to drop. Looks weaker. Had a down day, but at least weaker today as well. OK, so that's for the S&P 500. SPRT. Yeah, we bought shares today, so it's trying to see that go higher. Square. Let's check AMC. AMC is doing good. I have not bought any shares yet. Try not to be so eager to buy shares. You have to just you have to let your shares work for you. OK, they're starting to work for us. So I'm letting that work. There's no point of just keep putting in money, putting in money. You're just putting on more risk until we start seeing some more movement. And if you're into buying sell signals, you know, the price level that I actually want to buy in more with. So I'm either waiting for that level to happen or I'm waiting for it to give me a new different buying level. So kind of just being patient on AMC. AMC is looking nice. But again, 
um, came to that resistance, like I showed you guys around here and kind of stalling at that resistance again, kind of showing it as like a support area. I think the resistance like around 30 something, 37, like around this area is a resistance. So kind of just playing along that level today. So nothing really going on with AMC. Let's check GME. Yeah, GME trading sideways, nothing going on either. So I wouldn't, um, wouldn't be trying to buy shares today on GME either. SPH looks bearish. Oh no, this is SP. Though this, what is this? This would, this would be a good stock to get put options on. Now the option contracts, yeah. SPH Suburban Propane. Never heard of this company. Uh, this is a scalper stock. I would say this is a scalper stock because it's just very volatile. Just look at all this movement in here. So really kind of harder to trade. Not really any clear levels that I see right now. You'll probably just go have you probably just have to go off like patterns that you see. I would probably say if it got back down to below 15, like 14 area, like in here, every time it came down here, it kind of like popped higher. So that's the only way that I'll really play it because I don't see any clear levels to actually buy off of on pure price action. So I'll probably just you'll just have to see for this one, it'll probably just be a pattern. Like say if it came down to like 1480 or so. That would probably be a nice area to actually get shares and then watch it come up to around 15, 50 to 16. That's how I play that one. Because no really clear levels. <clears throat> PLTR. Oh, yeah. Um, with the call option I put on PLTR. In yesterday's video hope you guys watched that and enjoyed it it was at the end yeah i'm, I'm hoping you glad i'm glad you made 800 percent off that that's crazy yeah but plTR um if you guys didn't watch the last video it was like three stocks to rocket tomorrow at the end that's why i say you want to watch the whole video at the end i put um a plt plTR call option uh at the end of that video and then you can see how Palantir is today, right? Clear level pushed higher. Now play is really done. Um, you have to wait for the next play, but I'm gonna start doing that. That's why I say try to stay to the end of videos. I'll start adding in some videos for you guys. The whole point of the channel and everything is to help you guys. So I'm gonna try to do that a little bit more. But yeah, that was a good call. I'm glad you got in on that. I think I did check that one. I didn't see any clear levels. Yeah, I checked this stock. I didn't see any clear levels for ticker symbol DTSD. I mean, DTST. I didn't see any clear levels on the stock. And as you can tell, this stock really doesn't move. It's like very sporadic. Maybe you can find like a pattern. Like say this happened in October, January. Yeah, you know, there's no pattern. So there's no pattern, no clear levels stock really does not move so it kind of just be just be gambling this would be a gamble instead of investing you just really be gambling on the stock so i really wouldn't even pay too much attention to it oh yeah you're welcome nick so for amc and gme i'm kind of just waiting on those i actually start seeing a little level on blackberry that i actually might want to scalp um because today if you're in a buy and sell signals, we did we scalped uh, Bit Digital today. Ticker symbol BTBT. We actually scalped that one today, and it was actually since the play is already over with. This is what I was looking at on my chart. Okay, I had two levels. I had this blue level, and I had this green level. This green level was a buying level, and this blue level was a support level. Okay. We actually bought off this support level. Okay. I didn't wait for it to get down to this green level because I knew that it wouldn't get down here. That's why I say that's why you join the buy and sell signals because you'll get that confirmation from me. Right. 
Yeah. Uh, you're welcome, Andrew. And Tyler, yeah, so just your update on um, BTBT. So we already scout BTBT. The play is over with. The main level that I gave you guys, um, I can't remember what I said in the video, but today this is what I was looking at in the buy and sell signals. I was looking at this level for support and this level for buying. We actually bought off this support level and the exit today was 1250. So 1250. That was the exit. And then look at where resistance came in. Right. So we bought off the support. I didn't wait for it to hit the buying level. That's why that's why you join the buy and sell signals, because I confirmed those levels for you guys. And I just knew it wasn't going to go down to that buying level because the buying pressure started to come in already. Right. So we entered, I think, like, what, 1150. I think we entered on this candle right here, like 1150. And then we exited at 1250. Well, 1240. I exited at 1240. I kind of missed this top part right here, but exit around 1240. And then resistance came in right per perfectly. So BTBT, the play is over with. That was the only level I was really waiting on to play BTBT. And that it's over with now. And I really don't see any more clear levels, to be honest. Yeah, that was the that was the main play that I was waiting on for BTBT. In um, the videos, this was the play right here. So that's pretty much um, over with. Um, not necessarily dividend stocks, but I have a lot of um, growth stocks and some stocks that pay dividends. You're talking about stocks that I hold like long term. I'll probably give you like five now. Tesla. Of course, Tesla is a beast. In face, I actually start started buying Zillow. I think Zillow is going to do very good in the future. Palantir, P-O-T-R. Hope you guys got that call option that I put at the end of the video yesterday. That was a nice play. As you can tell, it shot up higher today. Beautiful move. So if you watch the last video that I posted on three socks to rocket, go to the end of the video. And at the end of the video, I give you two call ops. I give you two options. One of them was PL was Palantir. And look how that moved today. Right. It's just all about what you see in the markets. I try to tell people try not to use too many indicators because it doesn't really help. Indicators is really just past what happened in the past. It doesn't really tell you what's going to happen in the future. But pure price action, pure price action does. As you can tell, I don't really have any indicators on my chart. Just volume and then pure price. And this, I just never took this off. I don't even know what this is. See, I don't even think I can take it off, really. Oh, yeah, so I don't know what that is, but I usually just trade off price. But yeah, PLTR was a good one. Oh, so I was saying um, PLTR long term, Zillow long term, Enphase long term. Tesla long term, Square long term. This is a stock I want to build a position on, Planet 13. I want to build a big position on Planet 13. I have not started buying yet. I kind of want to buy it below $5. So I'm kind of waiting for it to dip in the fours. So I kind of want to build a position around that $4 mark. We have a put option on Disney in the Weibo Challenge. I'm still holding that. I still think Disney's going to fall. And then once Disney, if Disney falls below like 150s or so, I'm going to start buying it for long term. I actually don't hold Disney in the long term yet. And dividend stocks, all dividend stocks. Oh, yeah, let me check that stock. I haven't checked the stock today. S-E-S-N. Yeah, remember I gave you guys clear um a pacific thing that happened for this to equal a buy and it did not do it today so i think what was the level like 152 something like that the level i gave you guys was like 150 let's say 153 right here let's go down to the five minute so price today's the 18th today price needs to come above here today 
and come back down to it for it to equal a buy. It did not do that. So it's showing weakness. OK, so you just don't play it. You go ahead and move to the next stock. So you're right. It didn't give it didn't give any clear confirmation. Right. So the only level that I was willing to buy off of was this level. If it came above it and came back down to it, because that means it would have showed buying pressure. I would have waited for the entry and then I would have got in to see prices go higher. But we didn't get that. So I think the stock might really be done. Because, yeah, I don't really see anything clear. It was on a nice uptrend. You could have just bought shares and just ran it. It was on a nice uptrend. Like I said, some stocks have patterns. For the people that's on the live, some stocks have patterns. Sometimes you can just um, search for those patterns. Okay, that's what I'll say. Because I kind of give you guys some techniques to use in a stock market options crash course on how to find patterns in this and how to enter off this type of trend. Um, I think it's called like how to enter on bullish markets. So I teach you guys how to enter off these bullish markets and you can find trends in these for easy entries. But um, for ticker symbol S E S N, I think that play is really over with. How do I know when to sell off experience? Usually I sell at resistance levels. That's usually when I sell like for bit digital. Had a support buying level, the green level down here, if you can see that support 1250 is where I would see resistance. 1250 was a resistance level. Okay. That's why that was my exit. And this I bought at the support level because I saw buying pressure come in. So I knew buying price would not back, price would not get back down to that buying level that I had. So I knew it would take off from here. So I sent that signal out on the buy and sell signal. So make sure you join that link in the description and pin in the comments. I sent that out. We entered at 1150. So I think we entered on this candle right here and then boom, hit 1250 clear resistance broke down all right so that play like i said um that stock is really over with already yeah a lot of people tell me um you should be like 100k subscribers and stuff subscribers don't really mean too much to me i do want to get to 10k so if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe i do want to get to 10k um, but that's pretty much it. I don't really think uh, I don't really want too many subscribers because then it'll kind of get. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like diluted. I kind of want like a good, small, concentrated group that's actually ready to learn. Right. You're not just here to be a millionaire. You're here to stop working for people and work for yourself. So I sent out an AMD put option on the buy and sell signal. So that's doing good for us. I think one guy got like 70 put options. So I know he's killing it right now. If he's in here, one guy in the buy and sell signals group, I sent out a AMD put option because I knew AMD would drop today and it clearly is. And he got like 70 put options. So I know he's killing it. But yeah, I like um, I like a small group because you can do way more with a small concentrated group than a million followers that is not really interested in and just learning. They just want to be millionaires. I mean, everybody wants to be a millionaire, but it takes time. That's why I never show my accounts or anything, because I want you guys to focus purely on price, purely on price. Uh, what is HD doing? AMD is moving like usual. So that put option is doing good for us. Spy. What is the spy doing? We have put options on this. Yeah, I feel like spy is going to come down. That's good. 
Uh, you're welcome, Vera. Let's see, thoughts on A L F I. Oh, it it hit. Hold up. Did it it hit the bind level I gave you guys? What was the bind level I gave you guys? Like nine fifteen. Right, I gave you guys buy level at nine fifteen, right? I think I did give you guys a buy level at nine fifteen. The only thing I don't like about this is when it got to this level, it's very low volume. Look how the volume died down when it came to this level. A low volume. That's the only thing I don't like. So the stock might want to drop a little bit. But this would have been like a quick scout play. Um, da -da 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 -da. Why did it? Let's see. Oh yeah, the launch a digital campaign across twelve markets. Depending on how that goes, it might move the stock more. But and I think I'm gonna just I won't I won't force it. If I don't like it, I just won't force it. And I'm not liking how this looks. Yeah, I won't force it. I just I'll be patient. I'll I'll, I'll be looking at it throughout the day. But right now. Mm, nothing really jumps out at me. Yeah, whenever I say the Discord group, that is the buy and sell. That's uh, every time I buy and every time I sell. But you also can just ask me questions on any stock. I give you key levels on all stocks. And we just, we just talk in the markets, how I'm thinking about the markets, how I'm planning to go about the markets, what I'm planning to do for the month. So you kind of already know of how I see how the money's going to go. So say like, I'll be like, say July, I'm like, usually July is like consolidation. So I'm like, we're not looking to do too many trades, but we're looking to be more nimble. So it'll be more nimble type of trades because you just don't want to be in here trading 20 times a day. That's doing too much. It will be some days I just won't even look at the markets, but since I started all this. I'm on the markets every day for you guys. But some days um, before I start everything, it'll be days I won't even just be in the markets. You really don't need to be in the markets every day. What is Meta Materials doing? Oh, did Meta Materials hit the level? Oh, it did. I think it did it hit my level. <laughs> Let's see. I think it did. How much percent did it move already? That's something else. Oh, it already. It, damn it! It did twelve percent already. That's something else. I have so many stocks and so many levels. Sometimes I forget about them. Oh yeah, it already did the move. Oh, we missed that. Well, at least we got bit digital. Bit digital today. This was the move I was waiting on on Meta Material. I was going to scalp that. Oh, man. I think I gave y'all. I can't remember what level I gave y'all. Wasn't it like two, seven something? It hit that level. Hit the level, show buying pressure. Shows you your entry right here that I teach you guys in the stock market options crash course, which you can use Will 50 off to um, get $50 off the stock market options crash course before it goes higher. But this is your entry right here. Man, I would have put I would have put a good amount on that. How much was that? Yeah, and, and the reason why I try to have you guys more on percentages is because that's how I do it. So, um, like say you put ten grand right here, this would have been a thousand dollars. You can literally do one play a week, ten percent, make a thousand dollars a week, and you'll be making more. You'll be making like the average income for all Americans, but you'll be at home doing one play a week. Because something else you got to remember, the S&P 500 averages like 20 to 30 percent a year. If I'm getting that correct. 
that's why I try to have you guys on more percentage base, more 10 to 20 percent plays to get you in a rhythm of how the big traders do it. Not looking for thousand percent plays every day. That's unrealistic. OPTT <clears throat> came down to drop longer downtrend. So you want to watch for that. And starting next week, guys, I'll be tr I'll try because I usually I say I will, but then I get busy. I'll try to go live every day, Monday through Friday. Okay. But you're going to have to start donating to the campaign, okay? Probably like $5, and I'll analyze your stock for you, like how I'm doing now. Because I'm uh, trying to get some better equipment. All, them, all the money I make from YouTube goes right back to the YouTube channel. I, I don't take any money from the YouTube channel. Because I want to start to get some panels for the walls, try to kind of clean up everything. But that'll start Monday. I'll probably do like five dollars a stock or two dollars, something small. Uh, this stock, I would check first the reason why I moved today. Oh, and I had a lot of questions. Um, usually I trade on TD Ameritrade, but I don't know why Webull looks better when you live stream. It just looks more cleaner. But usually I do all my trades on TD Ameritrade. Uh, what was I doing? News. U.S. Department of Energy selected for the development of next generation wave energy converter. Hmm. U.S. Department of Energy chooses to further the development of the next generation wave. Huh. The U.S. Department. Okay, that's actually some very good news. So, volume came in. So, I would wait. Because I really don't see any clear levels, but I would kind of wait. Like, see how... What's today? I kind of lose track of days. Today's Wednesday. So, I'll probably wait till Thursday and Friday to move. And to see where Thursday and Friday moves. And then probably play it on Monday or Tuesday. So I kind of watch out for that stock. I have it right here on a recent. So I kind of watch out for it. All right. Thank you for coming up. Will Knowledge Supporter, Andrew. Charge point. Let's see how charge point is looking. I'm actually holding charge point long term. It's crazy because I'm holding charge point long term, but I actually think it's going to drop more. So I haven't really uploaded too much right now. Hold on, give me one second. All right, I'm back. All right, I'm back. Oh, let's turn that off. Okay, so I was saying about charge point. Yeah, charge points are long cold. And uh, what was I saying? Charge points are long cold. I think it's going to fall more. So I'm kind of just waiting to actually add shares. But I am holding charge point long term. I don't see any potential scout plays on charge point either. So kind of just waiting for this one. I think when the infrastructure bill passes, this is going to, this is going to get a nice boost. Cause I can't remember the amount they had. I think like 50 billion something, um, for charging stations. And I think this one will benefit probably the most out of the charging stations and maybe blink. Let me check. Let me check blink. Yeah. They kind of moving the same kind of in this, Trading sideways motion. 
the high this one was 50 the high this one was 64 so let's see something real quick this had a run 520% okay let's remember 520% this had a run 520 percent uh, start to run here huh so blink had uh, so blink actually had a bigger run so what I think I'm gonna do is I think I will let me write down blink I think I'm gonna build a s position on blink because blink actually had I think it might actually have a greater chance a bigger percentage run just looking at pass so I'll kind of pay attention to that one MMAT so Andrew the um, the wheel knowledge supporter that's to support the YouTube channel if you like the videos that I make key levels I give you guys you can support the YouTube channel that's the first link in the description that's what you join the buy and that's also for the Webull challenge Okay, but the buy and sell signals, like my actual trades and everything, that's on the website. So you you'll get that. Um, it's also a link below. You can get that at allportradersclub.com. Okay, that's the company where we're building all pro traders, right? And just FYI, all pro traders are going to be a big platform. Okay, have a lot of things in the works with that. So you'll start seeing um, updates come with that soon. But yeah, that's going to be a big platform. Will Knowledge is just the name of the YouTube channel, but the All Pro Traders is actually the company. Uh, Meta Materials, I do see a little buying level coming, but for a potential scalp, let me write that down as well. But it it would need to be, it would need to close. Try to close above three dollars today. Kind of looking a little weaker. What is it today doing? If it can kind of stay above this three dollars range, like it can just trade inside. If it could just stay above three dollars, I think that would present a nice buying for tomorrow to get a scout play. So let's let's try to hope it has some strength to stay up. Yeah, on OPTT, I would say um, I'll be watching it because I think that's some pretty good news. I'll watch it though. Yeah, charts points a long hold, meta materials. Zoom, I wouldn't zoom. I would not worry about Zoom. Zoom is gonna be a very good company long term. Like I use Zoom now, so I think when everything goes back to normal or if it ever does go back to normal or whatever happens, Zoom is just always going to be here because I think people are um, willing to use Zoom now. I love Zoom for the long term. Charge point, long term. Meta materials. I'm holding my position on that. Archimoto. That's why I sold half before earnings. So this drop didn't really affect anything. And kind of just stalling out now. So I haven't really bought anything and haven't sold the other half either. Kind of just stalled out. And space. Space had the hard drop. I think space is going to actually do very good. Because I think their next launch is like next year or something like that. And they raise the prices. So if they raise the prices, that means something is coming. So I think uh, SPC is going to have another run up. I haven't bought any more either because it hasn't been doing anything just trickling right that's why I kind of say if you have a thousand dollars right for instance so you have a thousand dollars I would split that up don't have over don't have four hundred dollars in one stock okay I would try to split it up a hundred dollars in ten stocks okay so you have ten stocks you have a hundred dollars you don't have any more money that's it or you can lower position to 50 and then you can put 50 in another stock. So if a stock does drop like this, it doesn't affect your account. Okay. 
because I know a lot of people panic when they see this, but I don't panic. I'll just buy more at a better price. But that should cover all your stocks. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the website. Like I said, we're about to build a huge platform on all Poor Traders Club website. Okay. It's not just signals. It's not just um, crash courses. It's going to be a whole platform. So just stay tuned for that. But um, the options, it should be buy and sell signals. It's um, $55 a month. And I think those prices are actually going to go up later in the year. <clears throat> Cause I plan on, <clears throat> I plan on doing, um, man, let me drink some water. Yeah. So I plan on doing some huge trades by the end of the year. So that's why I'm going to bring the prices up by the end of the year. Cause usually I make all the money by the end of the year just a heads up so yeah um i've been notifying the buy and sell signals group by the end of the year like october starting around october november december somewhere around there um i start doing big trades because that's usually when i make most of the money for the whole year how long have i been on here I tried to give you guys a little longer one today because I know I've been. I'll also come on tomorrow, probably around 9.30 to 10 a.m. Central Time. So just make sure you have your YouTube uh, notifications on. So I'll be on here about three more minutes. Uh, what questions do you guys have? XL. And just how you guys are asking questions here, you can ask me on the buy and sell signals and personal message and I'll get back to you guys. And then usually every day, at the end of the day, um, I tell you guys to send me some stocks on personal message and I give you key levels for the next day. So it's, it's, it's more than just signals. Uh, XO Fleet. I see a potential. It's at the lowest it ever has been. I see a potential scout play. But... Uh, I needed to come higher. It would be nice if it came to like 590 or something around this level and then came back down. I think that would be a nice time to buy. So if this can come up some more, like a, some more push, how does it look throughout the day? Uh, it doesn't really look too strong. But hopefully we get some more push. I think that would be a nice buying for tomorrow for scout play. Let's, let's see. Can we get a 10%? 10% would be around 630. Do I see any resistance at 630? I think that would be a, actually a good play. Like, for instance, say this was an up day. Tomorrow came down. I bought that. I put the regular amount, and then I got 10%. That would be a minimum of $1,000 for that play, right? So say you do that two, three times a week, you're making two, three grand a week, two, three grand a week times four, that's about 12 K a month. You're making more than over half of Americans and you're only doing about two, three trades a week. Just kind of get you, get your guys minds on a percentage basis and not dollar amounts. I want to buy cat. That's a good company. Long-term just look at his growth. Good, good company long term, but they do have a pattern and you're kind of seeing that form right now. Just look at this. This. And what happened after this long run? Right. You're kind of seeing that now. So I'm in, I am expecting this type of move for about a year or two, probably trickle down. But as it's trickling down, I'm going to build my position to get that right there. I don't think this company will ever go out of business. Just a little FYI for you guys. 
Yep, no problem. Can you also day trade options without getting a suspension on account under 25K? Yeah, so if you're under 25K, um, you have three day trades a week. And to be honest with you, you shouldn't even use all three day trades a week. So really, it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, if you're under 25K, you have three day trades a week. And then if you're over 25K, they let you day trade as many times you want. Uh, no problem, Christian. Yeah, I used to be greedy too. Now I just, I just exit at my stops and stuff. Sometimes I exit early. Sometimes I exit late. It's just all about um, people have the worst time exiting that I've noticed. Uh, oh, yeah. So I need to go ahead and get off. Excella, probably the last one I check out. <coughs> Excella Technologies. I really do think Excella will have a run. I just don't like its past data. That's the only thing I don't like about Excella. Its past movements. Uh, February, March. Because it's, it's, it's kind of showing a pattern that I've been looking at a little bit. For like three months, it has a spike every month. It's around January, February, March. And then July. No, this is June. August. No, hold up. June. Six is June. Seven is July. And then this was close to August. Yeah, I'm working out something on Excel though. So I will have something going on with Excel soon. I'm just kind of being patient with it. Kind of just being patient with this, kind of waiting on it a little bit. Yeah, AMC is a long code. It's been moving like I've been expecting. So I'm letting the shares work. That's why I try to tell you guys, don't be so eager to just buy. Let your shares work. Okay, like I said, you don't need to be doing 20 trades a day. Sometimes I don't trade at all. Like back in the day when I didn't have like the YouTube channel and stuff. Sometimes I didn't trade all day. Sometimes I didn't even look at the market all day. Sometimes you just need that break from the markets. Come back the next day. Come back fresh and get on to it but amc um i do have a buying level that i want to buy some more shares at that's in the buy and sell signals group they know about that but i am looking for some more pull back down to buy more and then potentially go higher but playing amc day by day but i haven't sold any amc shares oh yeah a lot of people ask about cryptos i do know cryptos i just don't talk about them um i own bitcoin ethereum a little doge and that's really it looking to buy a uh, ada soon cordano but right now my main investments in crypto is in bitcoin and ethereum i think ethereum is going to go crazy next year like crazy and i'm building a bigger position on ethereum now because i think it's going to go stupid next year mark my words okay ethereum is going to go stupid next year but I guess I'll go ahead and get off. Hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Make sure you check out the videos that I'll post later today on all the key levels in the stocks. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.